We are going to do a video on equations. You need to get good at equations. They are not going to go away for a while. Our first equation, x over 2 plus 7 equals negative 11. As always, look for your x and see what's done to it. Luckily, I do not have x's on both sides. I just have this x. It's divided by 2. 7's added to it. And it's equal to negative 11. Okay, I'm not too worried about this fraction here because that's the only fraction I have. So I'm going to get rid of this positive 7. Remember, we're trying to solve for the variable. So whatever's over here with x, I'm not even looking on the right side. Only on the left side where my variable is. Let's get rid of whatever is bothering our variable. So instead of adding 7, what's the opposite of adding 7? Subtract 7. But if you subtract 7 from the left, you have to subtract 7 from the right. On the left side, I will have x over 2. And sure enough, a positive 7 and a negative 7 will cancel. I planned it that way. On the right side, a negative 11 and a negative 7. I'm going to get lots more negatives. Same sign. Add and keep that sign. So on, on the right side, I will have negative 18. Now right now, what you may do is say the answer is negative 9. You are so excited to turn your test in. You are done. You are wrong, though. The answer is not negative 9. That is x is divided by 2, and it's equal to negative 18. That doesn't say negative 18 divided by 2. It says something divided by 2 will give me negative 18. And that, my dear friends, is the reason you should follow your algebra rules. x is being divided by 2. What's the opposite of divide by 2? You should say multiply by 2. Or it's like this is 1 over 2, so I would multiply by the reciprocal 2 over 1. But if I multiply the left side by 2 over 1, I need to multiply the right side by 2 over 1. On the left side, the 2's will cancel out. I will have x equals, on the right side, negative 18 times 2 is a negative 36. So make sure that you follow your rules because you do not want to make a careless mistake. Okay, let's work on this equation. I have 2x plus 3 times x minus 4 equals 9 minus 8 times x plus 1. Stop a minute. Look to see what we have. I do see 2x. I see 3 times a parentheses. That is distributive property. On the right side, I see 9 now that's not 9 minus 8. That's 9 minus 8 times x plus 1. I see distributive property again. So let's simplify each side first. I will bring down my 2x plus distributive property. 3 times x is 3x. And don't forget, 3 times negative 4 is a negative 12. On the right side, bring down your 9. You're not going to do anything with 9 yet because you need to multiply first this distributive property. Negative 8 times x is negative 8x. Negative 8 times 1 is a negative 8. So I did distributive property on both sides. Now we have a few like terms that are on the same side. So I want to simplify each side as much as I can. 2x plus 3x on the left. That will be 5x. Bring down your minus 12. On the right side, is there anything we can simplify that we can combine? Oh, yes, there is. Positive 9 and a negative 8. A positive 9 and a negative 8 will be 1. And I will bring down my minus 8x. Whew, okay, each side is as simple as it can get, but 
I do have variables, not on one side, but on both sides. I prefer to only have one variable. Therefore, I'm going to get rid of one. On the right side, I have a negative 8x. I know how to get rid of negative 8x. I'm going to add 8x. But if I add 8x to the right, you've got it. You have to add 8x to the left. Let's simplify. 5x and 8x is 13x. Bring down your minus 12 equals. On the right side, I only have one left. Now we are down to a simple two-step equation. I have 13x minus 12 over here. To get rid of this negative 12, I'm going to add 12 to both sides. On the left side, I will have 13x. On the right side, 1 plus 12 is 13. I'm almost done. Divide both sides by 13. x will equal 13 divided by 13 is 1. Now I can take this answer, plug it into my equation, and make sure that my equation is true. Oh, look at this one. Are we having fun yet? My directions to you. Solve for y. Get y by itself. Well, I don't have y on both sides. My only y is right there. What's bothering my y? It seems like it's multiplied by star, and there's a heart added to it. Well, what do you think you do in order to get y all by itself? Well, I'm going to get rid of this heart first. What's the opposite of adding a heart? You've got it, subtracting a heart. But if you subtract a heart from the left, you better subtract a heart from the right. So look what happens. A positive heart and a negative heart cancel each other out. So I now have star y equals triangle minus heart. Am I done? Is y by itself? Oh no, not yet. Y is being multiplied by a star. So I'm going to have to divide by a star. But if you divide the left side by a star, you've got it. You need to divide the right side by a star. So what do you think happens on the left? Sure enough. Those stars cancel out just like I planned. So I will have y equals triangle minus heart divided by star.